Right up. at some really amazing things happening in the world right now. Prophecy is kicking into high gear as we move into uh, this is the third year of the seven year tribulation period. We've got the second half coming up uh, this year. Okay. Um, (sighs) Possibly our evacuation this year. It's a really good possibility as well. Because if you um, if you count backwards from the very end, 1,335 days, you've got December 21st, 2018. <laughs> 2018. Is everybody doing okay over here? Does anybody have any questions? Because we've got some more to go through here as well. Hi, Karen. Hi, Troy. (laughs) How you doing, brother? (laughs) Uh, Glory to God. Hi, Shirley. It's good to see you. Well, let's get into it. We were talking about how there's no way at this point, we have to throw out the possibility that the temple could be defiled July 21st. I don't believe that's the case. But my point I was getting to when we went to the break was that the blindness is covering the one third remnant of Israel until our evacuation takes place. And then their blindness is lifted. And so that is when they can see that Jesus is the Messiah and they flee. They are lifted out on airplanes in into the wilderness, probably to Petra. And they have been preparing Petra for years for just such a thing if they need it. So they're, they're totally ready uh, for that to occur. If, if need be. Okay. Um, But see, then you've got two thirds of the Jews who um, they turn, after seeing Jesus in the sky, they turn to the Pope, who supposedly represents Jesus. Then they've got their high priest saying the Pope is the, is the Messiah, the Pope bringing peace, a peace treaty, returning the ark, uh, getting the temple, rebuilt, starting to be rebuilt. And then therefore, when the temple would be defiled, the next ninth of all, you've got the, where you have the image set up. The next ninth of all would be the 11th of August in 2019. And so that would be when your image is set up. And then the other two thirds of the Jews uh, are in trouble. The ones that didn't flee are uh, slaughtered and taken, taken prisoner and killed. And, you know, it's going to be, you think the Holocaust was bad. 
That was a foreshadowing of what is coming. And this is a global thing. They will be, you know, with Satan here and his and inspiring the Pope uh, and giving him power. That means that it's open season on the Jews, the second half, especially after that image is set up in the temple. And those other two third that thought the Pope was the Antichrist, thought the Pope was the Messiah um, because they saw Jesus in the sky. So they turned to the Pope. Well, the one third that recognized Jesus initially upon the evacuation, they're not going to turn to the Pope. They're fleeing. <laughs> okay. Uh, they're, they are fleeing. Shirley says, Lisa, could the rapture happen before the sixth seal? within the 30 days in the midst of the week. No. And the reason it can't is because Satan has to be here. It, so it can't be before the sixth seal. There's no way the treaty can come before the sixth seal is opened. There's no way the evacuation can come before the sixth seal is opened. And the evacuation happens on just one day of the year. And that would be the the last day of the Feast of Trumpets. Okay, the, the spring feasts have already been fulfilled. Now we have the fall feast being fulfilled. So the Feast of Trumpets is the only day out of the entire year that the evacuation could occur. Well, before that occurs, Satan has to be cast down because it talks about in Revelation 12 here, notice the, the order in Revelation 12, 4. His tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. So that's where they're cast down. The dragon stood before the woman, that's Israel, which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. But, so see, you have Israel in travail. You have the dragon already here when the evacuation takes place. Because in verse 5, she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. That's the body of Christ. That's the believers. And her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And then the woman flees into the wilderness in verse 6. So you have a certain order of events. And it doesn't look to me like there's any way we can be evacuated prior to the sixth seal doesn't look like there's any way Jesus could show up prior to the sixth seal because Satan's cast down first. And he's not cast down until after the sixth seal is opened. And so you can't have a treaty also until the sixth seal is opened. And Satan is cast down. Then you've got a satanically empowered antichrist who can get the treaty signed. And then the world says peace and safety. And then wham! The evacuation occurs and it's sudden destruction. You've never seen chaos in the world like you will after the evacuation of the Gentiles and the children. All of the children are gone. Everybody on the planet is affected by this event. So, I mean, there are very few people who are not affected by this event. All the children. The wheat and the tares are all taken to safety. Now, those who are still here, they don't understand that they're the ones who are in serious jeopardy. <laughs> they believe that they were spared when they were the ones who were not taken to safety. They're going to die. Okay, so um, it, does that make sense to you? It says here that... Before Jesus comes, Satan is cast down. He's here at, before the evacuation. He's ready to devour the child. Well, Israel brings forth this child, wham, evacuation, and then that's the sudden destruction. When they shall say peace and safety, sudden destruction shall come upon them as travaileth upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Notice. They shall not escape. We escape, but they don't. So 
there's two there's two sets of Jews. When the evacuation occurs, the blindness is lifted from the 144,000 and also from the remnant, the one third, uh, and they flee into the wilderness. Okay. Then the other two thirds that think the Pope is the Messiah, like their high priest tells them, they are with him and thinking he's the Messiah. And he's the false Messiah. He's not a Messiah at all. He's actually a, a snake in a dress. And so they think that he's the Messiah until he sets up the image in the temple the following ninth of all. See, that doesn't have to be at the midpoint because the blindness is lifted from Israel when the evacuation takes place and Jesus shows up in the air not when the image is set up. Now the remnant notice at then time and then they run and they, and they start their 1,335 days right after the evacuation is what it looks like. I could be wrong, but it sure does fit together well for it to be that way. And it shows here that, you know, see the ninth of Av is only one day out of the year. The Feast of Trumpets, last trump is only one day out of the year. So if we don't go this September, we would have to go the next one, and there's no time left for that. There's no time left for that. Uh, we would be outside of uh, Daniel's prophetic generation when it all wrapped up if the 1,335 days didn't start until our evacuation in 2019. There's just no time for that. But the temple does not have to be defiled at the midpoint. It is actually, it's, it says, for an overspreading of abominations, it's made desolate. There, I mean, it's there's an overspreading of abominations. There are um, so many. Now, they have, they have resumed the Holy Days sacrifices back in April 2016. But at some point, they will resume the daily sacrifices. And when they do that, those sacrifices will cease and then you'll have the image set up. But I don't think the, Im I mean, I think the image would be set up probably 9th of all 2019 because that doesn't, that event doesn't have to be in the middle of the trip. Okay. Where, where we are now. That event doesn't have to be in the middle because the temple being defiled is what opens the eyes of the Jews in 70 AD and here. But the remnant has a head start. They Their blindness was lifted when Jesus appeared in the sky and they fled. But if, if they don't, then the image would, the two thirds that don't flee, then they would, the image would be set up probably uh, the ninth of all in 2019 for them. But that's not the midpoint. See, we're past the midpoint at that time. But see, the temple, the temple doesn't have to be standing to be defiled uh, this year. Uh, because once I learned that the sixth seal has to be opened before the treaty can be signed, then, you know, if they start building it, fine. But uh, no treaty until you've got a satanically empowered antichrist. I was showing how the seals have been opening one per year since 2013. And how we've had a foreshadowing of the ultimate fulfillment of the seals. This first seal opened in 2013 and the Antichrist snake Pope got his crown when he was elected by conclave. And ever since then, he's gone forth conquering and to conquer by uh, putting all the fractured pieces of the Roman Catholic Church back together again like Humpty Dumpty. Mm -hmm. So that's what he's been doing. And we've been watching him do that. But these are horsemen. They are fulfilled progressively over time and then come to their ultimate fulfillment. 
So while the first seal was opened in 2013, it doesn't come to its ultimate fulfillment until Satan is cast down and the snake Pope is satanically empowered to get this stuff done. Okay. That would be the ultimate fulfillment of the first seal is when the Pope is satanically empowered and then he is lifted up as the Jewish Messiah or the king of the world or whatever he wants to call his snake cell. Um, but see, he has to be empowered for that. And he's not right now. I don't see any, I don't see any wonders. Do you? There'll be lying wonders, but I don't see any. Uh, not yet, but you will. He will, he'll be able to call fire down from the sky and, and all kinds of things, which can be achieved from satellites, okay? You can shoot a laser down onto a very precise point on the Earth, uh, programming a satellite to do it, okay? <laughs> These are not real wonders that he shows. They're lying wonders. But he is satanically empowered to get that done. And you see where it opened in 2013 and he's gone to do fourth conquering and to conquer. Well, the ultimate fulfillment comes after our evacuation or right prior, just prior to our evacuation, actually, when the snake Pope becomes satanically uh, empowered. That would be your ultimate fulfillment, your first seal. Then the second seal was opened in 2014. And that one takes peace from the earth. As we've seen since 2014, this one is also a horseman and also is progressive. And so back in 2014, we looked at a map and I posted it for you that showed only 10 countries out of 196 countries in the world who are at peace at that time. It may be less now, but at that time, only 10 countries that were at peace out of 196. That's just ridiculous. So peace had been taken from the earth with this seal, but the ultimate fulfillment of it, and you've had wars and skirmishes and conflicts and revolutions and uprisings and all this, but the ultimate fulfilling of the second seal would be the Gog Magog war, which turns into world war three. And then therefore turns into Armageddon there at the end, you'll have wars and desolations are determined all the way to the end at that point. So the ultimate fulfillment of the second seal would be the Gog Magog war, which then progresses into Armageddon over time. In the third seal was opened in 2015. This one was the Shemitah. This one brought higher food prices and economic turmoil. Now, as this one progresses, its ultimate fulfillment comes as global famine and economic collapse. That is the ultimate fulfilling of the third seal. Then the fourth seal opened in 2016. This is massive numbers of deaths from various causes, violence, disease, sickness, pestilence, um, accidents, animal attacks, you name it. So as in 2016, we had a huge increase in the numbers of deaths in the world, but the ultimate fulfillment of the fourth seal would come after the ultimate fulfillment of the third seal, um, which would be um, one fourth of the earth's population dies as an ult as the ultimate fulfillment of the fourth seal occurs. So you've got a ton of increasing deaths, but then you've got a fourth of, of the planet dying, fourth of the people of the planet dying as a result of the fourth seal. Then the fifth seal opened in 2017, and this is the martyrs and at the beginning of 2017, you had believers. Uh, one believer was dying every six minutes at the end of 20 at the end at the, excuse me, at the beginning of 2017, one believer every six minutes. 
And so as 2017 began to progress, you got more and more and more martyrs. These numbers began to increase. And as this one uh, ultimately progresses, then we have a situation where um, you have the two thirds of the Jews that are not protected at Petra are slaughtered. And this is a global thing. They're looking for any Jew they can find on the entire planet to kill them and anyone else who's aligned with Jesus if they're still here. But I don't believe any of the Gentiles will be here. I think it's just Israel on their own with the wicked and the tares. And everyone's trying to kill them. The Jews are going to be slaughtered like cattle during that time. And it's going to be really, really bad. So after the image is placed in the temple, possibly the 9th of Av um, in 2019, which would be August 11th, as your image is set up there, from that point, you have a, a world where the mark of the beast is mandatory and required from that point on. And the religious Jews who hate Jesus will see that the Pope is a fake when the image is set up. And then that's when they flee. And then they're, most of them are going to be slaughtered. And that's, uh, <laughs> it's really scary, isn't it? For them. I feel really sorry for them. Because that's going to be, you know, pretty crazy. Let me see what I'm doing here. Oh, leakage. Need that thing to stay open. Okay. Um, Shirley's quoting a Revelation 12, 13 to 17. The great tribulation represents Satan's wrath against Israel and those holding the testimony of Christ. Correct. Revelation 6, 9 through 11, souls under the altar killed for the testimony which they held. Now, I know um, my friend Shirley, she thinks that um, the rapture happens at the fifth seal, but I have my reasons why I can't really process that, and I understand. Let's go over here and look, um, and I'll show you why I think that's not a possibility. Now, when we go over here... Let's look at the fifth seal. Okie doke. <sighs> Duh. Okay, the fifth seal comes when in verse 9 of chapter 6 of Revelation. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of God and for the testimony which they held. Now, these are souls under the altar. They don't have bodies. They're just souls at this point. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them that dwell on the earth? And white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled. And this is why I'm sure this is, this is why you think that the rapture could happen before the sixth seal because of these white robes. But what I think this is saying is that what happens once the sixth seal is opened, you have the souls under the altar. Then as this seal progresses further, it progresses all the way into the second half where you have the martyrs, okay? So as he says here, uh, they are told that they should rest just for a little season once they're given their white robes. Now they have to be regenerated before they can get their white robes, right? Right? And we know when the regeneration takes place. It takes place after Satan is cast down. He's waiting on the child to be born. You have, as Satan is cast down, you have a satanically empowered antichrist 
who can then get a treaty signed. And the word says, and when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction cometh upon them as travaileth upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. So I think what this is, is initially as the fifth seal is opened, you, these are all souls under the altar. But as the, the fifth seal was opened in 2017, as it progresses, then things will be different. We'll talk about this again on the other side of the break. Don't go away. Thank you.